Hi everyone. I went shopping today and I came across a first world problem where the broccoli that I bought isn't organic. And I'm having a little bit of an issue with it because the broccoli is on the dirty dozen list. So the environmental working group does a dirty dozen every year and broccoli has been on it for the last few years. And so do I eat broccoli, which is so good, which my son will eat, even though it has high pesticide content, or do I not? This is also important for when you go out to eat because most food that you get at restaurants isn't organic either. The reason I wanted to make this video was to let you know and give you a little bit of ease and say, you know what? It's okay. Sometimes you're cooking at home and it's not organic. As long as you're supporting your liver and you're detoxifying and you're taking supplements that help you to metabolize through these pesticides, then you're going to be okay because they get metabolized pretty quickly if you have the wherewithal to do so. So B vitamins, magnesium, different bioflavonoids, and glutathione, etc. are really necessary for your detox pathways. And that's why I designed the supplementation protocol that goes along with the Wild Vitality Detox. Those nutrients help your body to get these chemicals out. My son came home from school and I asked him, honey, what'd you have for lunch? And he said, tater tots and carrots and I didn't eat the chicken nuggets. And I said, why not? And he said, mama, I just know that they were GMO and they tasted caged. Only in California. So check out the link in the bio and you can get more information about how to do the Wild Vitality Detox process. It is the perfect time to do it before the holidays. It is way better going into the new year. See you soon.